What is going on, everybody? Boylan here, and welcome to what's going to be, I guess, round two of the Ultimate 32 Tournament. Now, I did lose my first match, but that's okay. Congratulations to LOL456 for beating me. As you guys, if you watch my video, I effed up on the Bionic Avengers, and the fact that it took me three hits to kill the Eternals, uh, the Tangled Web, probably was not great, and that's what cost me the match. But anyways, uh, so this is going to be like a little bit of a shorter match, because I did, I did go ahead and do three attacks already, because they were stuff that we had pretty much seen before. So invaders, uh, Wakandans, we've seen a lot before, and actually we were able to kill this pretty easily with another team. Well, we'll do the results. I'll show you guys just what I did really quickly before we get to the other ones. Uh, I did Infinity Watch versus uh, Underworld. It was Underworld uh, Shang-Chi. Actually, you know what? Shang-Chi managed to damage my my moon. Um, God, I'm forgetting people's names already. <laughs> Her? Why am I blanking? Having a really rough weekend. And uh, room number four with this. Now, because last time we had Dr. Doom in Space of Silver Surfer, but we didn't really use Doom at all. So, yeah, this was more than sufficient. Uh, really easy to beat the Invaders team, so had no problems there. And I used Death Seed to beat the Wakandans, because the Wakandans without their Vibranium Room buff is actually really, really easy. So don't be too concerned. I did lose Nemesis. Uh, I think it was just some super... I think I got hit by an unavoidable attack, uh, but it was super unlucky anyways. But otherwise, it wasn't that bad. So we're here to do three rooms. This is going to be the least impressive here, probably. Uh, and then Web of Destiny, which is unlimited X-Men with basically no buffs because it doesn't do anything there. And Overcharged again. This time it's with Doctor Doom. Now, I have... Masters of Evil, Gamma, and Unlimited x -Men. and actually Weapon X, and I have a Dormammu there somewhere. So what I'm planning on doing is, I'm just going to use my Masters of Evil here, because I think that's probably going to be the best bet, and that's where I'm going to be uh, using them here. So, yeah, as you can see, my, my Moonstone is actually the lowest on my Masters of Evil. I need to get her up a little bit more, probably, especially ahead of the Nova event. Well, it's been a bitty... Uh, uh, busy weekend so I haven't been able to talk about the Nova event yet but we will be there's probably gonna be two videos honestly uh, just discussing that alone so keep an eye out for maybe even later today uh, tonight or tomorrow morning for sure uh, we're gonna get some videos out and probably over the next two days frankly in the lead up to Nova's event as well with the Nova event uh, math on Wednesday not for the scourge but for the other event milestones so we're going to ability block. Well, right off the bat, right? You know, you can ability block Spider Weaver. And that basically eliminates. That's it's more or less over. I wouldn't say it's completely over. But now it's a little bit different, right? So now the instead of the specials, I'm using the alts. And here is one concern that I have is... <laughs> I'm going to just knock Doom right... Oh, I was so close that I almost knocked Doom right into that. And so we're still going to just try and get Spider Weaver down because once she's down, I think it's a lot easier. Now, and this is going to apply stun, but that's not really what I want. I want to reduce that turn bar a little bit more, I think, because I can do that. Does it do adjacent damage? Oh, no, it's just the turn bar. That's right. And uh, so now we're in, we're in slightly different orders in our skills. Deflect and immunity to self. That's fine. I just don't want to like. I don't really want to just kind of go off and trigger possibly trigger Doom's time platform. So I, I admit that's a little bit tricky there. But now we have like a one turn cooldown. <laughs> oh my god, we have a one turn cooldown Titania alt. That's nuts. So that's fine. He's blocked now, and so that's not really a big deal. But then we're gonna get the turn bar rewind there. Or maybe not, because uh, Cersei's actually stunned, so maybe that uh, that fixed it. But we're going to go off and, and finish off Doctor Doom, just so we don't have to worry about him. I did take a fair bit of damage, actually. A little bit. Observing Man's kind of crap, as usual. And who's up next? We have another Titania alt. We're just spamming that. And I think we're just gonna, we're just going to finish off... Cersei, I think, because once one of them is dead, then I don't really, and at this point, you can probably just auto it. So, it uh, wasn't too big of a deal. We were able to do that fine. Uh, I, I do believe, in my opinion, that this room is really interesting, but I feel like we're just seeing the same sort of stuff. You know, I feel the uh, the creativity is lacking, and, and maybe even myself as well, you know, that we're just not seeing a, a wide range of 
characters and and room compositions that we should given how unique that room is anyways we have the web of destiny we have this so this is a really big unlimited x-men and it's way bigger than mine and it's slightly concerning um i'm thinking of unlimited x-men with dormammu and i'm hoping that the revives help me to push me ahead because my unlimited x-men are not even 1 million so they they do have a good 1.1 or sorry 110k across the team over me with their mom who's still bringing up it a little bit but uh yeah I, I only have gear 17 on rogue i don't have it on any of these other characters especially not gambit so we'll see how this goes they don't really get me buffs so my hope is is that this still comes out ahead and then uh, i guess that leaves us with gamma for infinity watch which really shouldn't be a problem since gamma's you know pretty meta and they're not being nerfed yet because it's not season three so and then we'll go over how I've changed my defense and what my plans are there. So right off the bat, that's good. We won the mirror match. <laughs> we won the coin flip. So we can get that onto Rogue, and that's really helpful. And then basically from there, I think what I want to do, I might even be able to get the ability block here. And I want to land, uh, I want to get kind of get uh, Gambit down here. So I'm going to stun him, and he's got the trauma, which is nice. So that cannot be uh, uh, flipped or anything like that. Once Gambit can go down, like the it just becomes significantly easier, I think. And uh, let's put another ability block on... You know what? Let's keep the ability block on Dazzler. That way she can't flip, which really helps. And uh, we're going to go... Uh, you know what? I guess over here. No, we'll, we'll finish off Dazzler. Okay, Dazzler's out, so that's good. And Rogue is, like, severely crippled. So I guess, you know, I, I totally forgot about the kind of coin flip here. But that's really helpful. I don't even know if this matters, but whatever. I think I could probably auto it at this point, frankly. But uh, we'll... Ah, the stun's off Gambit. But we should probably, you know, blind him. That's going to help, too. Because then he won't be able to do anything. Yeah, this is good. No, you know, th this reminds me of the craziness that was the Age of X for this team. I don't know if you guys really remember that, but that was bonkers. You know, the amount of damage that they put out was a lot more than this is. So, yeah, they've become significantly easier without those kind of room buffs. And on the defense, they're really not that hard at all, as you can see. Just completely just rolled over them. And, you know, honestly, I, I don't know if I even needed Dormammu, but he was a good insurance policy there for sure. Uh, just to make sure that if anything went wrong, if I lost the coin flip, then uh, that wouldn't be a problem. So I think we're actually going to get away with a full 6 for 6 clear, and it's just going to come down to efficiency. And then I'll show you guys what I had on my defense and sort of how I'm going to be changing this up for match number 3, because this is match number 2. And uh, I admit that this video is going to be coming out super late. And for anyone tracking my progress, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a video uh, every single match. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not usually someone who does that every week in Cosmic Crucible. This one's a little bit different, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll get a chance to do that every time or not. But I do want to show you what's been changed on uh, my defense, though, from basically... I couldn't really change much from 1 to 2, but now that I've seen how my team actually functioned and not and, or didn't, uh, I'm going to make a better a better one for three. And also based on some of the recommendations I've heard from you guys and in the Discord. So uh, the Boylon Discord, definitely there's a lot of conversation about Cosmic Crucible, my own alliance as well. Looks like I'm, I'm off to a shaky start. Look at all these uh, evades. I didn't actually think that was going to be a thing. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, and all the bleeds. Oh, I didn't even like get through any of this. Oh my god. All, all those safeguards. Holy crap. Everyone's still got evades pretty much. Okay, well... Maybe I can take some of these bots with brawn, because that's what I really want to do. Uh, over here. Except for on She-Hulk. What is it? Wait, oh, whoa. oh no! Moon, moon Dragon! She took most of that, and she ripped it off. Except for with Red Hulk. This is crazy. Am I gonna? Am I gonna time out? Actually, I can't stun anyone. 
This is bonkers. Oh my god, are we gonna lose She-Hulk? If we lose She- Oh my god, no, 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 no. If we lose She-Hulk. Oh my god, we lost She-Hulk. And there's all these safeguards. Like, I, I just want to kill Phi Lavelle because she stops the the uh, the drain mechanic when they have... Oh my god, but we're not getting the alt from... Uh... This is going to be a bit rough. And we're stuck. Are we stuck on Gamora? No, I might be able to kill her. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> With the HP drain thing. But now we need to go for Gamora, I think. Otherwise, she's going to start getting out of control here. And these buffs are, are, are just bonkers. Come on, knock knock me past health? Nope. Okay. Can I stun her? Nope, I resisted. Oh, great. Wow, Infinity Wash just really... Maybe this is going to change my mind here. Oh, we got hit again. That's three. This Infinity Watch Room 1 is a lot more powerful than I thought. And definitely on the time perspective, too. Because I'm already at two and a half minutes. I mean, I... I I'm afraid to put it on auto. And then Hulk's getting knocked back again on his turn bar. We're stuck on Adam Warlock, apparently, and I can't switch over to Gamora. At least we're healthy? Jeez, come on, come on. Am I going to have to auto this? I I'm really scared. Uh, I I'm actually going to put this onto auto, because they're, they're being a bit more of a wall than I expected here. And I just kind of want to flip over to Gamora where possible once that taunt fail uh, goes off, but... Jeez. Okay, so Red Hulk's up to four charges. He's not at his alt yet. He is now. He should be now. That should be five. Yeah. Okay, so his next turn should be the alt. But the safeguard's still on on quite a few of them, actually. On Moon Dragon and on Nebula and actually on Adam Warlock as well. It's only Gamora that doesn't have the safeguard anymore, but that's fine. Come on, Red Hulk just needs to take his turn. Come on. Stop giving Hulk turns. Alright, we got this. Okay, we got the trauma. We killed Adam Warlock, I guess. He didn't revive? I, did we go through his revive already? Oh my god, look at this time, guys. It's like almost a full five minute fight, and I did not, I did not expect that at all. Okay, come on. Alright, here we go. 50 seconds. Alright, okay, Gamora's dead. If Nebula times this out, I'll be really... This is crazy, because they, they get so many buffs, and with the safeguard, it's just absolutely bonkers. Like, how... Like, is that is that a bug? It just looks like they have, she has such an insane amount of safeguards. I can't even see... No, yeah, she keeps stacking safeguards, like, <laughs> because after every turn, I guess. I don't know. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Am I going to time out because she's got immunity and she's got to revive still and she's so fast. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. <laughs> oh, no. No. Yes. Oh, my God, guys. We got this with four seconds to spare. I can't believe it. This is a, a, a credible defense. This is actually, okay, they, they had four tier 16s, so that was pretty crazy. That is a credible defense because that room buff just really makes the amount of buffs that they already have absolutely crazy because of safeguard. So um, if you're going up against an Infinity Watch, you might even want to consider using Apocalypse because that would just obliterate their on spawn safeguard and therefore you wouldn't have a lot of these issues. But boy, that was crazy. I did get a full clear on this though, so I'm really happy overall just to do a quick recap. That was that was nuts. Uh, Gamma versus Infinity Watch, Infinity Watch versus Underworld, Unlimited X Men versus Unlimited, uh, sorry, Dorma X Men with Unlimited X Men, uh, this versus Invaders, Death Seed versus Wakandans, and Masters of Evil versus Eternals Tangled Web with Doom. And so let's just finish off by showing what I have in my defense and things that I've changed. So I've actually put my Unlimited X Men, and I hope this doesn't come out to bite me in the ass. My Unlimited X-Men is now on defense in When It Rains. And that's because I heard that when they get evades, it just constantly stacks up. And it's pretty crazy. So unless there's a way to flip this easily. Uh, yeah, so we, we saw this firsthand with Infinity Watch. So I think those are the two best teams that you possibly could put in this room is going to be Unlimited X-Men or Infinity Watch. And actually, I have Infinity Watch over here. But after seeing it, I'm like, maybe I should take these back. 
honestly i should take these out and and the other rooms are, are things that we saw before but they were able to bait some pretty big teams uh, so just to go back to my defense, because I don't think people got a chance to see this from the first round, was this one was it was interesting as well, but wasn't super impressive, my Heroes Guardians. Uh, this, however, my Darkhold uh, Nick Fury. So I'll have Darkhold now for uh, match number three, and they used an Apocalypse Darkhold to beat mine, Masters of Evil to beat my, uh, my my Tangled Web Web Warriors, which I it's a shame I'm not able to see my replay my defense. Seems that some people are. And some people aren't, but I have not been able to do that. And then they use Infinity Watch versus Underworld, Death Seed versus Infinity Watch in room five. And then this was a two shot here against my Eternals, Apocalypse. It was not a Tangled Web thing, but I may end up changing this. I don't know. I kind of thought that perhaps, you know, I'd love to see a repeat on, uh, not a repeat, like a replay of the Tangled Web Web Warriors, but I, I just can't because it doesn't show me, so I, I don't know. Uh, some people are not getting this option, and it's not consistent, which is really bad because the tournament is really important, and so it should be, I should be able to watch it, and I don't know what's going on, but it's it's made a big problem. So for this just now, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to see how good the Unlimited X-Men do on my defense and whether or not that stops me from being able to beat certain teams. I feel like I kind of need to bring this, take this back. I can't really have like both of them on defense. I feel this, this is too much on defense. So actually I'm gonna, but I don't really have anything to put in this place. I don't think that the summons actually make a significant difference to be honest. And uh, so with that in mind, I think I'm just going to, honestly, I'll probably just throw in my Bionic Avengers. I, I'm not really expecting much, but I also don't really use them right now. So I'm just going to use them anyways and uh, see what ends up happening. But I need to take Infinity Watch back for the offense, I think, in order to give me an extra team now that the Unlimited X-Men I have stuck in room number one. So that's going to be the end of this round two, everyone. And until next time, and good luck with the rest of the tournament. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.